a BB youth group is learning that great kindnesses can come from the smallest gestures. Kids attending the Antioch Church spent the last several weeks getting flower donations to help clean up a local cemetery. And this morning, they saw their hard work pay off as they placed hundreds of flowers on gravestones. t 311 video journalist Sam Belk captured the moment. Okay, we're going to set down the rules before we go outside since it's so cold outside. We're going to start at the oldest grave, so at the far side of the church and move this way. My grandmother passed away at the end of August and one Sunday after church service, we were driving out and decided let's go check on Granny's flowers. And as we're driving through, we started noticing there were so many graves with no flowers. We had been talking about sharing God's love. And the easiest way to share God's love is through acts of kindness. So I went to Brother James and asked him because I didn't know if there was some kind of stipulations as to can someone just come out and just put flowers in the grave? Is there some kind of rules against that? And he said, absolutely not. So I told him, I said, well, okay, well, this is what's happened, and I would like to ask the youth and see if this is something that they would want to do. When I mentioned that to them the next Wednesday, the whole room of kids lit up. Just because there's not flowers on the grave doesn't mean those people aren't loved and they're not cared about. So we wanted to share through God's love an act of kindness of that we are here and we are able to put flowers on all the graves. And so our goal was to do as many as we could before Thanksgiving. Because with it being Thanksgiving and Christmas coming up, we had talked about families will be coming in. There will be more people driving past the cemetery as they're going places. And so that way they can see something's happened. What's going on? Why are all these flowers all of a sudden here? We ended up with, I don't know how many, because we stopped counting. I know that we actually purchased with money, I think 550 bundles of flowers. So that alone, to me, was a blessing and amazement because again, we are a baby child. I mean, I think the max amount of people that ever sit in this church one time, I think is maybe 35 people. So for there to be that much money donated from such a small amount of people has been amazing. They weren't just sticking flowers in the graves. They were actually reading the names. They were looking at the dates. They were actually paying attention. And even two of the girls even said that they were going through and they were talking to each grave and that they were telling them Happy Thanksgiving and God bless you and different things. So that was, again, these kids have overly blessed me and I think have blessed this church as adults we might not pay that much of attention and might not notice how open-hearted and that it is. I mean, it says in the Bible that we are to feed the children and to pay attention to the children. And I think that is definitely what's happening in this church, that the children are feeding all of our adult hearts and helping us to open up and to pay attention more. That was Sam Belk put that story together. The kids got more than half the graves done today. They plan to return for the rest after Christmas.